hello everyone welcome to my channel crypto where uh, in the last video we did talk about uh, uh, talk about in brief uh, about the obfuscating various samples these were the six samples which i discussed about and i gave an idea how we uh, how we can approach towards the obfuscating them in this video we will be analyzing each of the sample one by one of course we are not covering all of the sample in one video itself but yes we'll move ahead with the easier one first so that we get used to it gradually and understand our aim is not just to deobfuscate the sample but we are also trying to analyze and understand what is it actually trying to do what is the possibility without even running that would be the thing so we are analyzing the code we are analyzing the program and trying to identify what is its malicious activity actually so let's get started so as i had mentioned in my previous video our goal is to make the obfuscated script a, as much as possible less messier okay so what i generally do is i actually copy the entire content and i paste it in a separate file so that whatever modification i want to do i do it over here and i do not do any changes or make any changes over here because if i get confused or if i want to get back all of course you can always press undo but still sometimes you make so many changes you cannot identify what what was in the uh, original obfuscated part so we are keeping the obfuscated part as it is and we are actually changing it so what we will be doing is we'll replace this uh, base 64 encoded part and decode it and replace the decoded part over here so that it gets very easy for us to understand what is it trying to do so i had shown in my previous video as well and i'm going to do it again so here we will simply base 64 decode we'll see that there are a lot of a number of actually variable declarations we'll understand about them one by one let's just copy and paste them yes it's done we see another let's do the same with it sorry so it's not necessary that you have to do it from command line you can use any online converter again you make sure that uh, there should not be any confidentiality issue uh, whichever script or whichever file that you have been provided that you're working on you should make sure that if it is publicly available that is a different thing but if it is confidential then you should not use websites or public platforms to do that you can always do it in a terminal or a tool which you have installed into your system and which does not share your information or all those contents anywhere so you have to keep maintaining maintaining that also make sure that you are doing all these in a sandboxed environment or a, in or in a virtual environment see even though we are just in the static analysis part we are not running but it's better that we do not do anything like that in in our host machine it's always better to be safe as we always as we all know prevention is better than cure so now let's start understanding the code one by one what is happening over here so here we can see that uh, the first thing is uh, it has used ActiveX object. So basically it is being used to run the PowerShell commands which we can see uh, in the next uh, lines over here. here. Here we can see that PowerShell is being run in these two uh, sections. Next what we see is let's understand what is the objective from that specific PowerShell command. So here we see that it is creating a new wscript.shell object, which as we know that uh, we do create various instances, objects, so something like that is here. You have to, you know, get into it, try to understand what is an instance, what is an object. I'm not going to say that, like, I'm not going to uh, explain about it over here, but 
in short you can understand that it is creating an object from here using w script dot shell so that you can use it later on and it gets easier for you to perform the next function because whichever we are defining whichever function or in or an instance that we create or an object that we create it is created so that we can use that specific function or that specific class whichever you are using uh, in a better way so make it easier for us to use it basically so moving ahead we can see let's go ahead with this specific part what it what is it trying to do we see that sh object is defined over here let's just put a new line so that it becomes a bit cleaner for us we are just keeping it clean so that we can understand what is it trying to do it gets easier for us so this is the part which we are trying to understand again i'm not going to explain each and every detail but we are going to understand what is it doing so it creates, we see that creates a new w script dot shell object, which is named as sh over here and uses PowerShell to, you know, uses dot run, I mean, to run PowerShell. Now the next thing it is trying to do, it is trying to download a file from the URL mentioned here. You can see the port is also mentioned and it is trying to save it to systems temporary directory. As you can see that env has been used over here. Uh, env environment and temp is for making it uh, making you understand that actually it is it is trying to create it in the temp folder temporary directory or temp folder as we see and it wants to start uh, it start it wants to start a process so that to open the downloaded file so here it is downloading the file it is downloading the file this uh, biohazard underscore containment under <clears throat> underscore update dot pdf and it is saving it after downloading it, it is saving it in the temp folder and then it wants to start that process basically so it is starting the process so that the downloaded file could be opened basically now let's move on to the second object so till here we know that okay it is downloading this file and it wants to open it the next part is again the same it is using sh uh, the object that is defined here of w script dot shell and it wants to run powershell i mean it wants to execute the entire uh, command over here so it is using run so again over here we can see that it is using another url so here also it is downloading a file which is st.exe from the url mentioned and it is also saving it to the system's temporary directory and it wants it to start with elevated permissions it wants to execute as we can see that it is an exe file most probably since it is getting downloaded so it is more of a like a downloader and it wants to execute it now moving on with the next path is where js again a variable is declared and it is using w script dot full name so here what happens is it is trying in the last two section let's explain both of them together so that it gets easy we can see that sh is also used again it is using run so we can understand that when they're using this and they're using this they have created an object of it and then they want to execute something they use run command so sometimes you learn a lot while analyzing these codes also and this is very important so here what it is trying to do is it is simply deleting the current uh, this current script that is being running after performing the operations that we saw so whatever is there it runs it all and then it deletes it so it just needs from here the current scripts file path so this is most probably a downloader and the place from where it is downloading is this specific url and it is simply executing them and yes downloader it is executing so yes this is an uh, this is a malicious file and from just simple static analysis we just deobfuscated although it was just base64 encoded but uh, 
you are going to get a lot of samples which are not just base 64 encoded or they have huge base 64 encoded strings and later on like you will have to de obfuscate or keep decoding them a lot so this was just a very small example of de obfuscating or basically decoding and analyzing the script so i'll come up with another sample and we'll discuss about it what is happening that will that may be base 64 that may be hex but i'll be covering all the six from here so stay tuned we'll see in the next video please like share and subscribe and thank you so much bye